welcome to this month's plan with me this month i am using the hello august monthly view kit from planet beautiful um i have previously used um the planet beautiful kits and i really enjoyed them i think they're really pretty and um very seasonal for australians so all those living in the southern, southern hemisphere so the first thing that i've done here is i'm just going to place down the base of the kit first and then get into all the events and things I have going on this month. So I've placed the two top bars along the top. I've got the Hello August and then the second one that says, um, what good is the warmth of summer without the cold of winter to give it sweetness? And then I have used this other decorative strip that says, baby, it's cold outside to block out the days of September. And then I have placed down the sidebar stickers so um, just pop down the first one that says goals and then um, I've used an important and don't forget head up with the other two checklists I usually just use this sidebar just to track down the kits that I want to use and the spreads that I've done throughout the month in my planners and then next I used um, the other little full box um, to um, a block off the 31st of July and I love the design of these planet beautiful monthly kits there are a few things that are missing and I wish were included so one of those things is date dots um, so what I decided to do this month is create my own I had these blue bullet point dots in um, from planet with stickers in my collection so I just got the sheet um, match um, picked a color that I thought would match with the kit and I just wrote all the dates on it from the first to the 31st and now I'm just going to I'm just applying them with tweezers you definitely need tweezers for this because otherwise it gets really fiddly and very difficult um, so I thought that was a good solution to that, but I do hope she expands her kits in the future to include date dots and um, some more icons. So what I'm doing here is she's got the washi strips and what I needed to do was mark out the weeks of the semester. And I didn't want to use one of the label stickers because they were just too large and I didn't need it to be that prominent. So I just um, measured up the strip with one of the boxes and then just cut six of those. And I've just written week, week two to week six on those. And I'm just going to place it up in the top corner of the box. And I just cut it short um, to, keep the, to keep it just before the date dot. And then I realized I went from week one to 60 hours, so I had to remove everything and then reapply. <laughs> I love the glitter. I love the icy look to this kit. Um, I just love like winter themed things. And it's not a lot of like, we don't see that much of it in Australia just because I guess, I don't know, we're not as wary of the seasons, I, I guess. Um, I don't know if you think that, but I think um, other countries are more celebratory in regards to seasons and stuff. So, yeah. Um, now, the next thing that I'm doing is I'm just using the same a different week sticker and I'm just putting that on the 8th because that's the start of all the same a different week. And I'm using two labels from the kit um, and I'm using an asterisk this month for like money related things and then hearts I'm going to use for birthdays so it was my grandmother's birthday on Monday and I had to report earnings on the first as well I also needed to release some funds on the second so I've used a label and asterisk for that and now I'm just placed I placed my payday um, stickers down on the second the 16th and the 30th and they're the flags there and then I've also used the bill due flags um, for bills that I've got due on the 14th and the 16th and I've used a label on the 16th as well because there's um, more than one bill but I do put a label under the bill due sticker for my phone bill on the 14th um, later on. So the kit does come with these full boxes. I didn't really have any big events this month um, so I just placed them where it would look visually pleasing. I should have placed these before I put on the date dots because I so I had to remove those and then place the boxes down and put those on top. So 
if you're doing your monthly spread and you're using date dots, remember that <laughs> and don't forget like I did. So I'm just placing those around. Um, I purchased the add-on sheet to a kit, which you just added this month. Um, Planet Beautiful so it came with um, extra full boxes and heaps of labels so that was a good addition to the kit and I hope she expands it more in the future um, like I said with more icons um, maybe some flags and stuff and date dots So they were different shades of blue, like light blue, darker blue, and there was like sort of an aqua green. Um, so I was just trying to make sure that it was balanced um, with colour um, on both sides of the page. So you can see I'm doing a lot of ripping up and placing down. I find her glossy stickers, which I purchased this in glossy, are easier to re remove than the matte. And I guess I don't really press down my stickers. Um after I pop them down on the page so that makes it easier as well um, so now I've just placed another build you sticker on the 20th um, because I do have my little mystery box auto pay that comes out of my account um, I didn't have another build you sticker but I also have an iCloud auto pay on Friday so I used a label and a little um, envelope icon for that um, I also had an appointment on Friday, so I used a label and a car icon for that. And my parents are going away on the 6th and the 7th, so I just used a washi strip and a airplane icon um, to mark that they're away. And then it is my good friend's birthday on the 7th, so I've used a label and a heart icon to denote that. Um, it's another friend's birthday on the 14th, so I've done the same for that. And now I just used a label sticker and an asterisk on the 15th, so I can remember to report my earnings. Um, I use an envelope icon and a label on the 19th because I do have a, um, a business law test then. And on the 28th, there is the Brisbane Planner Markets on. Um, at this stage, I'm not going and I'm pretty sure I won't be, but I just wanted to mark that down because I think it's going to be a super great day for everyone that's going. And I popped that on the 21st. And now I'm just sort of filling things out as I go because I got a bit confused and I was like, oh. Um, so sometimes I do that. Sometimes I put stickers down, especially with little things in my weekly spreads. I put them down and then I forget what I've got a sticker there for if it's not very obvious so um that's that and I just use my pilot g2 um 0.38 and that that works really well with glossy stickers and I also put a report awning earnings um label and icon on the 29th And you can see I'm ripping up the build you um, on the 14th and then just placing um, a label underneath that so I can write it in. And I had so many labels that I was just like, oh, I'll just use most of them. <laughs> So on the 25th, I use a label sticker and an envelope icon because the GP Sticker Studio Mystery Kit comes out. One of my favourite mystery kits, um, well, Australian ones, and um, Planet Envy get organised, but she doesn't have a specific date that it comes out every month, so I have to think of that. And then that's pretty much all the events for the month, and now I'm just using my Once More With Love Wacky Holiday stickers. And placing them on each day. They're so cute. I use them every month. So you've got um, some of my favorites, I guess, Watermelons Day, Book Lovers Day. I love that little munchkin there. Um, <laughs> Go Topless Day. I love my Feet Day, World Elephant Day, Th uh, Forgiveness Day, Toilet Paper Day, and Kiss and Makeup Day. 
but they're all so super cute and I love using these. They make my monthly spread look really fun. So that's a finished spread, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!